Hey guys, I thought I should make a video on how to put, uh, to install a uh, gyro system in your uh, FPV wing. I've been flying around with this um, DSM uh, orange receiver uh, quite happily for a while now with the wing, but as you can see in my latest videos, the footage is very unstable due to turbulence and uh, the wing being really unstable in the roll mode especially. So I thought I should uh, try out one of these uh, stabilizers and I've had great luck with the Lemon R RX receivers uh, before so I thought I should try out one of these Lemon RX stabilizers. And I found this great little unit. It's uh, all-in-one stabilizer and uh, receiver in one box. It has a lot of features and uh, it's dual diversity antennas which is great and uh, yeah so I thought I should show you how I just make a quick video on how to install this in your FPV wing which is really simple. Some features on this uh, unit as well. It has a uh, satellite port here if you want to add uh, your uh, receivers if you want to add a satellite receiver to this unit you just install the uh, satellite in there it also has a on off uh, channel 5 function so you just use your on off switch on your radio to turn it on and off which is quite handy in the beginning when you don't have your gain set properly for your um, system or something fails or yeah, something is uh, not working the way it's supposed to, you can just turn the gyro off and it's just back to normal RC. It has a lot of other features as well, you can read about them, read about them on the, uh, the website, but for this install it's uh, quite simple. So what I had to do here, if I should see if we can uh, focus on the dip switches that I uh, turned, I had to of course enable the delta wing which is the third one from the top switch that to on and also had to reverse uh, the elevator but that might differ from your install you have to test that out and see if that uh, works for you but on my install when i'm going to install it this way and that's the front and then uh, i had to reverse the uh, elevator channel that's it and uh, as a recommendation you can set your pots to the gain pots for the uh, aileron and the elevator to around 10 o'clock i think that's a good starting point 9 to 10 o'clock and then you can increase them as you try and test it out and see because uh, if you have the gains too high you will have oscillations and that's not good for your uh, uh, for your plane or your servos especially uh, flying at high speeds. So start with the gains at a low value and just work your way up until uh, you have a, uh, found a good uh, all-around setting. All right, so I removed the old uh, receiver here. Then we're gonna install the new one in the wing. So to start off, uh, you need to bind your stabilizer to your controller. I use this old DX7 because it's been my go-to radio for this uh, type of airplanes for at least, I don't know, 10 years or so. so. Since they first came out they've been rock solid. I never had as much as one glitch on these radios. It's been, I even spilled some Coca-Cola down in here and they still work great. So really great system. Um, yeah, to bind them, you just uh, add the bind plug into the bind port. Here you go. Add power. And you'll see the receiver is blinking, as it should. And you hit the bind mode on a radio. And you hold it. Until the light goes solid. Then you release. Now you know the receiver is bound. And you can... Uh, Remove the uh, bind plug and the power. 
now it's bound to your radio so what we can do now is install it in the airplane as I said I'm going to install it uh, with the servo pins facing backwards and that's what I'm going to do I'm going to use the included uh, servo tape which is a little bit spongy so it kind of absorbs some uh, minor small vibrations from the motor and the prop when it's spinning All right, so we got the uh, backside off. So what is important now for your install is that you install it perpendicular to your airplane. You don't want to install it at an angle because when the gyro senses the roll and the uh, elevator uh, disturbance, it will give the wrong outputs for the servos. So it has to be straight on the airplane and it doesn't really matter if it's Tilt it up or down, doesn't, that doesn't matter, uh, as long as it's straight this way, because that way it will get the correct, uh, correct it will give you the cor uh, correct corrections for your uh, system as well. So I'm going to install it here, in the middle of the plane, and as close to, perpendicular to the travel of the airplane as I can get. Make sure it's st stuck in there real good. Such. Now all that remains is to plug in the servos and the throttle control and we should be good, good to go. Alright so I have everything hooked up now. The stabilizer here. It doesn't matter if it's uh, in the middle here or on the side, as long as it's straight forward. Um, if it's on the side, it has the same angular detection on the side here, as the same on the, in, in the middle here as well. So it doesn't really matter if the gyro is centered in the airplane. It could be off to the back, off to the side, but what's important is that it's absolutely straight along uh, straight along the center line of the airplane facing that way. It has to be perpendicular to the direction of flight, is what I mean. So I have the service connected. I've glued down the antennas uh, 90 degrees to each other to maximize the, maximize the reception. And uh, it should be ready to go, so let's just connect it and see if it works. You see it has a uh, green light here that means that the gyro is active if I use my channel 5 here on my radio to turn it off it goes red and green that means the gyro is off and just being a normal receiver stabilizer on just a green light now it reacts to my motion as well so make sure before you test it that it compensates in the correct direction and it should always go opposite of the way that you uh, point the airplane. Say if I point the nose down, it should give up elevator and the opposite. And rolling right, it should give inputs to roll the back left. This way it will compensate for turbulence uh, flying rough air, flying through the air. So the next video will be uh, some video will uh, showcase just some flying footage and you'll see the difference in turbulent air when the stabilizer is on and off and I'll give you the approximate values of my gains as well. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. Please uh, click the uh, share button and the like button and subscribe if you like these videos. Thank you for watching and until next time.